Ever wondered why AI-generated portraits often look off? That smooth, plastic, or waxy skin texture just screams fake, right? Well, today, I'm fixing that. Let's dive into how I developed a workflow to make Flux Blunt One models produce realistic and natural skin textures. The problem with Fluxed One models is that they struggle with skin textures. They miss the petite, intricate details that make human skin look real. These details. The pores, the tiny imperfections, are ignored by most diffusion models, leaving us with AI creations that look more like dolls than humans. To tackle this, I find Tune the Flux One Devi model focusing on clothes up images of human skin, the goal. Teach it to understand and replicate the nuances of skin texture. Before we move on, if you're excited to learn how I crack the code to fix AI generated skin textures, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And hey, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss a deep dive like this. Share this video with your fellow AI art enthusiasts. It might just blow their minds too. And if you're looking for exclusive workflows, tools, and in-depth resources to take your AI art to the next level, check out my Patreon, by joining, you'll gain access to behind the scenes, content, specialized tutorials, and more. Plus, it's a great way to support the channel and help me keep creating. Links in the description. Flux One. Deb was already trained on a diverse data set, including 2D and 3D images. While this diversity makes the model versatile, it also dilutes the realistic details we need like natural skin textures. So I trained it on face close ups, carefully curated to focus on skin characteristics. This fine tuned model, which I've tentatively named female anatomy, brought us one step closer to solving the problem. Here's where things get really interesting. To bring back the natural textures of skin, I used two powerful tools. The Advanced Lying Sigma Sampler Node and the Detailed Daemon Sampler Node. The Advanced Lying Sigma Sampler adjusts the sigma distribution of noise during the sampling process. Normally, diffusion models distribute noise uniformly, which is great for some things, but terrible for fine details like skin by lying about or modifying how Sigma behaves, this node creates more nuanced textures, especially in areas like the skin. The Detail Daemon Sampler Node complements this. Think of it as a detail enhancer. It amplifies subtle micro details that are otherwise lost in the diffusion process. The two nodes together let me strike a perfect balance between realism and creativity. Dialing in exactly the amount of skin texture needed without overwhelming the image. See the difference. On the left, we have the default sampling approach. Smooth, waxy, artificial. On the right, the advanced lying sigma and detail daemon nodes bring back those tiny, natural imperfections that make human skin believable. But achieving realistic skin isn't just about the samplers. I also had to mask the image carefully, focusing only on the skin while avoiding features like brows, eyebrows, and lips, which already have enough detail. To do this, I used two-person face landmark mask generator nodes in Comfy UI. The first generated a mask for the entire face. The second was set to specifically target the eyes, eyebrows, and lips. Finally, I used a third node to subtract the second mask from the first. This left me with a precise skin only mask. This step is critical. By isolating just the skin, I could apply all the aesthetic adjustments, like subtle noise injection, without affecting the other facial features. Skipping this would have led to odd results, 
like eyes or lips getting an unnatural appearance. This workflow ensures the skin blends cohesively with the rest of the face. Once masked, I applied aesthetic filters to enhance the look and injected noise into the skin. Subtly, of course. Noise might sound counterintuitive, but when done right, it mimics the natural imperfections we see in real life. This multi-step process created a result that's light years ahead in realism. Look at the difference. Here's a standard Flux.1 image with that signature waxy skin. And here's the same image after my workflow. Notice the realistic textures, the natural randomness. It's no longer a plastic doll, it's lifelike. This workflow isn't just about fixing AI, generated faces. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in AI art. If you're working with Flux.1 or any diffusion model, try this out. The results speak for themselves. And that's how I fix the waxy, plastic skin problem in Flux.1 models. What do you think? Does this workflow level up AI, generated portraits or what? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful or inspiring, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you're the first to know when I drop more tutorials like this. Share this with your friends, your community, or anyone who loves AI art. It's always better to create together. Don't forget to access our Patreon to get exclusive contents. See you in the next video.